This afternoon, the new threat is just southeast of there. The community of Taylorsville is now under an evacuation order. The Dixie Fire now burning in three counties. It's more than 322,000 acres, 35% contained. More than a third of the people living in Plumas County are evacuated. And that includes people in the lakeside community of Chester. It's on the north shore of Lake Almanor. We continue our team coverage with CBS 13's Laura Hayfley there live. Laura. Well, more than 2,000 people live in the town of Chester, and they've all been evacuated. You can see we're kind of on the main drag here on Main Street, this town turning into somewhat of a ghost town. The only people we've seen on the roads have been fire crews and law enforcement officials as the Dixie Fire continues to rage through Plumas County, Lassen County, and Butte County. Now, again, where we're standing now, this is sort of the main area of Chester, and just about a mile and a half away is where that Dixie fire is burning. It is incredibly close. We did run into one resident who was packing up. She was just grabbing the last of her essential items, and she says she's never seen anything like this before. She's lived in Chester her entire life. She's raised three children here. We asked her how she's feeling about having to leave, rightfully so. She could hardly put it into words. I can't even. Scared and horrible. This is horrible for everybody. Have you seen something like this before? Never. No. You can see incredibly emotional for her there. Now you're going to be hearing this from officials throughout our newscast. If you're told to evacuate, you need to do so. We've spoken to Cal Fire about it. We've spoken to their partner agencies about it. It makes it a lot more difficult for firefighters to get the job done if they're having to take you outside of the evacuation zone. Now coming up, we spoke to officials about why this Dixie fire is so hard to fight. We'll talk more about that in a bit. All right, and before we let you go, Laura, uh, we know a lot of people are watching from Plumas County and Chester, and there were a lot of people concerned. Can you show us a quick pan around and tell us where you're standing right now and what you're seeing from your vantage point? Yeah, absolutely. I mentioned it before, but this is Main Street. This is sort of the main drag here in Chester. And if we go straight down Main Street this way, about a mile and a half is where that Dixie fire is burning. It's where the fire crews are actively working to get this fire under control. So as I said, it's a bit of a ghost town because it has been completely evacuated. Uh, obviously, those residents hoping they get to come back. So right, it's very smoky there right now, but a ghost town, but everything that you're seeing is standing. All right, thank you, Laura. As we mentioned, a new mandatory evacuation order in the Dixie Fire has been issued for Taylorsville and the surrounding areas, including North Valley Road, North Arm Road, and Diamond Mountain Road. You should evacuate to the south via Highway 89 or the east via Beckworth Genesee Road.